Hey guys, how are you? Recently I did a drugstore current favorite makeup products video and today I'm doing a current favorite high-end makeup products video. So I mostly have eye products for this category along with some lip products and I believe like two face products. So mostly eyes. I am an eyeshadow snob as I said in that video but I guess I just prefer high-end eye products. I'm not really sure why, but once I use up some more like of my eye products, I will venture into some more drugstore eyeshadows and stuff like that. So let's get started so I can show you all the products. I have three products to share with you guys, and two of them will be no surprise. And of course, I love my Urban Decay Naked Palette. I actually just finished Half Baked yesterday, which was a gold shade. So as you can tell, this palette's gotten a lot of love from me. Not as much on the darker shades because... For the past year and a half, I have been panning a palette that only had like outer corner shades in it. So I've been working on these ones, mostly the lighter shades, but Urban Decay eyeshadows are just really beautiful quality. They blend nicely, they're really pigmented, and they're overall just really nice eyeshadows. So I just watched two of them. The shimmery one is Toasted and then the matte is Buck. So I just really enjoy this palette. I will probably pan this eventually, but I love the colors. I like the variety. I just wish it had more mattes in it, but it, overall it's a beautiful palette. The next palette is my Urban Decay Naked Basics 2 palette, and there's only three eyeshadows in here currently. I crushed up the two darker shades in here because they just weren't very suiting to my eyes. The primal shade right here was kind of like a greeny brown shade, and it didn't really look that good on me. And this was just a dark, really dark brown that was almost black, and I just didn't really like it that much. And then Skimp I actually used up. This is one of the palettes that I'm panning this year. I love all of these shades. I usually use Frisk as an eyebrow shade, but I'll mix it with Stark to create a contour shade, but I have mixed Frisk and Cover. And I really like all of them for crease shades. They're beautiful. They're the same Urban Decay quality as the Naked palette. So I'll just swatch a couple of these quick. So this warm toned clay color is Stark. The light cool tone matte shade is Frisk. And then the one above it is Cover. So these are really nice eyeshadows. Like I said, Urban Decay has really nice blendable pigmented eyeshadows and I've really enjoyed using this palette. I've been using it a lot lately mostly because I want to pan it, but also because they're just really nice quality. This palette is a new favorite. This is the Anastasia Self Made palette, and I actually won this from a giveaway from Brooklyn Nicole here on YouTube. We actually did a collab together before, and she's super nice. But here's what the gorgeous shadows look like. And I also recently did a tutorial with this as well. My absolute favorite shade in the palette is Pink Champagne, which is this, you know, Pink Champagne shade right here. So that's what it looks like on my finger and swatched. It is just so pretty. Look at that color right there. And I barely touched it and it's already so pigmented. I haven't used all of the shades in here, but I've used Pink Champagne, Metallic Plum, Treasure, Deep Purple, Hot and Cold, Buttery, and blush and I think that's it so I'm gonna go off camera and swatch a couple of these for you. So here I just swatched a couple of the ones that I've used before. This darker brown shimmery shade is metallic plum. The purple is deep purple. The blush one it's kind of hard to see but it's a gray with some pink shimmers in it. It applies beautifully to the eye so it doesn't look as good in a swatch. And then pink champagne. So I love this palette. I want to use it more. I've just been working on some Project Pan eyeshadows and Pan That Palette eyeshadows so I haven't given it all of the love that I've wanted to, but I'm probably going to do a look with it this weekend and possibly film a get ready with me because I've been wanting to do one of those, but I just think this palette's beautiful. I like the variety of mattes in here and shimmers and the colors. There's some neutrals and some pop of colors in here, but you can also wear some of the pop of colors as, I guess, in a very neutral way or wearable way. I just really like this palette and I can't wait to get more use out of it. The next product I actually got recently but I've used up a whole pot of this before. This is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and this is a skin toned eye base. And my friend Nicole from Instagram, I believe she is Nicole Williams on YouTube. I'm not sure if she has videos and then on Instagram she is 
underscore Nicole Leanne, I believe. If not, I will just leave her information somewhere around here. So MAC Painterly is a skin tone eye base. It's really creamy. I actually use this as an eyeshadow primer. If I don't have any eyeshadow primers to use up like the Urban Decay Primer Potion, I will just use this by itself with another cream eyeshadow. I have an intense priming process, so everything looks good. But I just love this. I've gone through, like I said, an entire pot of this before. Here's a swatch of it. It does look fairly orangey on my hand, but once you blend it out onto your eyelids, it blends out into my skin. So I really like this. I'm really excited to have it back in my life again. So thank you, Nicole, for sending me this little paint pot. Speaking of eyeshadow primers, I have been really enjoying the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Anti-Aging. I think this packaging is so cute. I know they recently redid the packaging where it is a doe foot applicator again, which was, which, which is what it was originally, but this is just a pretty much skin tone eyeshadow primer. I'll squeeze a little bit out. Yeah, it's skin tone, but I believe if you blend it out, it's clear for the most part. I can feel it on my skin. It just leaves a very smooth finish and it keeps my eyeshadows on all day. I was using another primer. It was the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish one. And that one was actually creasing on my eyes and this one doesn't do that. So I'm very happy to have this. I probably wouldn't purchase it knowing that I have the paint pot back in my life, but I don't know. I'm kind of iffy about eye primers. I really like them and I know I need them, but I have to find my perfect one. So I've been really enjoying this Too Faced Perfect Eyes Eyeliner and as you can see I'm almost done with it. This is in perfect black. This is the creamiest eyeliner I've ever used. I barely had to touch it there. But this doesn't last like product wise for me that long. This usually lasts me about two months and I pretty much only use it in my tight line and sometimes on my water line. I wouldn't purchase this, I don't think, unless I can't find any drugstore eyeliners that I like, but I do want to try some. But overall, if you have this in your collection, I would definitely pull it out because it's super black, really creamy. It lasts pretty nicely in my tight line for the majority of the day. I will have to reapply maybe once, but it works really nice and it's a beautiful eyeliner. I only have two lip products to share with you and I'm sure you guys know I'm going to talk about these. These are my two only MAC lipsticks that I have. I believe I've talked about these in my best of 2015 beauty products and probably in some other current favorites videos before. The one I'm wearing today is MAC Faux, so you can see that on my lips. This is a satin finish and it's kind of like your lips but better but a little warmer in my opinion. I personally don't think it's quite the Kylie Jenner brown nude, but it's pretty close, so that's what it looks like. Personally, I think this is more flattering on me as opposed to a true Kylie Jenner 90s lip because, I don't know, I just feel like with my skin tone and my hair and my pretty much my paleness, I don't think it would look that good on me, but I've really enjoyed using faux. I was kind of unsure about it at first, but it's really beautiful on the lips. It looks more pink on me than brown. It has a little bit of a brown tone to it, but it's mostly just because it's a warmer nude. So that's what it looks like compared to the swatch. The other MAC lipstick I have is Syrup. So that's what it looks like right here. I wear this one the majority of the time if I'm wearing a MAC lipstick. This is a sheer mauve tone. They actually look almost identical. But the Syrup shade is a little bit more mauve and it's a little bit sheer. This one is a luster. So, honestly, you probably don't need both, but I really enjoy both of them. I'm actually considering putting this Syrup lipstick into my Back to Mac Project Pan because it will be a year old this year, and I can already tell, like, I don't know if you guys can tell around it, but I just feel like I should use it up soon. I don't know, but this is one of my favorite lipsticks. I really enjoy it. MAC lipsticks are my all-time favorite lipstick formula, and I will continuously repurchase them. I can't wait to do it back to MAC so I can pick up more lipsticks. So I just overall like their formula and these are my two shades that I own and love. Lastly, I have two face products. The first one is a Benefit Box Blush in Coralista. I haven't used this the past month just because I am working on a blush in my Project Pan Roulette. But that's what the color looks like. I know pretty much all of you have probably seen this before, but this is a beautiful, easy blush to wear. That's what it looks like on my hand, but on my face it applies more of like a coral shade, like the blush I'm wearing today. It's probably wore off by now. But it's a beautiful shade, very easy to wear, has shimmer in it, blends beautifully. The packaging is super cute, and it has a mirror in it, as you can see. Sorry if I'm blinding you with it. But I don't notice the scent. Like, 
Mine doesn't have a scent to it. I know all Benefit box blushes have a probably perfumey scent to it, but I can't smell it in mine at all, or I haven't even smelled it in the store either. So I don't know what's up with that, but this is a beautiful blush, and I can't wait to wear it more once I'm done with my Project Pan Roulette blush. And then the final product is this Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone, but I haven't used this a whole lot over the past couple months just because I've been using up Pearl. So basically my current favorite is just the Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfectors, but I do love Moonstone. I have used it a ton. So this is what it looks like. I did probably just squeeze way too much out. So that's what it looks like just on my hand, but blended out. As you can see, it's really beautiful. It just has a nice subtle glow. Moonstone is perfect for fair skin tones. I'm personally pretty pale, but opal is a little bit too dark for me, so I find that Moonstone is the perfect amount of glow without being white. It's just really beautiful, and I like the squeezy tube. I know the full size is huge, but this size would probably last you, honestly, like a year at least if you just use a little bit. I use this either to mix in with my foundation or to use as a cream highlighter, so this would probably just last you a while anyway. The only downside is it doesn't come all the way full. Mine probably came to about right here, which is kind of a bummer because this is like $19, but it's a beautiful product and this is something I would definitely recommend and definitely repurchase after I finish this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed hearing about my high-end current favorite makeup products and let me know some of yours down below because I do have an Ulta gift card and I really want to spend it. I'm looking to buy the Too Faced Born This Way foundation but I also have some Ulta rewards to use as well. Thank you for your support on my videos. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys in my next one. Talk to you later. Bye.